If you're bored of the sound of your kit, you're in luck. Because you don't need to buy a new one, you just need to accessorize. Hi, I'm Miles from Gear for Music Drums, and today we're talking drum accessories. They can add new textures, sounds, and make you play differently. So whether you're looking for a new addition or buying for the drummer in your life, these 10 minor accessories are sure to go down well and become a permanent part of any setup. We're gonna be looking at tambourines, dampeners, and cymbal add-ons. So without further ado, like and subscribe, and let's jump right in. Honey is naturally anti-inflammatory, and the minor drum honey is no different. It reduces the resonance of drums and cymbals alike, with these small dots help reining in an unruly snare and getting that classic fat and thumpy sound that we all love. And as a bonus, they won't leave any marks on your gear. These are a simple must-have accessory for any drummer. Check them out. Adding a percussive layer that can help really fill out grooves, these hi-hat tambourines, the headliner and the Benny Grubb sand tambourine, do exactly that. Simply put on the hi-hat rod, these additions can be that simple tool to add a new sound to your kit. The headliner will give you that bright and cutting tone that's great for rock and pop. But if you want something a bit mellower than that, the sand tambourine will give you that drier tone that's quintessentially Benny. Here's them in action. The bacon is a simple idea, but one that adds pizzazz and a warmer timbre to any cymbal. Attaching directly underneath the cymbal felts, it sits gently on the cymbal and responds to even the slightest of strokes. And this is a constant in my setup, and it comes with me for every gig. I use it on my ride, but you can put this on your crash too, or add it to a stack, adding a bit more sizzle and liveliness. Here's what it does. I don't know about you, but when I'm playing, I'm always moving my left leg, usually in time with the groove. So why not incorporate it? With the minor foot shaker, all you need to do is wrap it around your foot and you get an extra percussive layer going with very little effort. It might take some getting used to, but you can definitely get creative with this one. Word of warning if using this live though, you might need a microphone at your foot like we've done here. The infamous and multifunctional chain rings are probably Mano's most popular accessory, and for good reason. They come in three varieties. You got yourself the standard, the dry, and the soft. And without sounding like a sales pitch, they're great on pretty much all cymbals that you can get them on. I personally love it on my crash, stretching out some of that sustain in a similar fashion to the bacon, but definitely in a more prominent manner. Here's a demonstration of the differences between all three.
Sometimes you might find that your cymbals are too bright and washy for the environment or the style of music that you're playing. But this little tube is all you need to correct that. These are known as magnetic sustain control. They're little magnets that attach to your cymbals to effectively choke and reduce resonance in two stages, light and heavy. These are super easy to put on and remove and can also be put on percussion like cowbells for a more muffled tone. Here is what this great accessory can do on a ride cymbal. So you've just got a new symbol, but the stand for it takes up a lot of room. Well, fear not, because these symbol stackers are here to help you out. By simply swiveling onto a standard symbol stand, you can expand your sound and not your footprint. Perfect for those in smaller playing spaces or looking for an ergonomic setup, it's drastically smaller than a new symbol stand and a fraction of the price. This can get you out of a tight spot. So, they are our top 10 must-have minor drum accessories for any drummer or percussionist looking to spice up their sound. I know that my favourites were probably the Benny Grab Hi-Hat Tambourine and the Ching Rings, but what were yours? Or can you see any of these on your setup? Let us know in the comments below. I've been Miles at Gear for Music Drums. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.